Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be uh, teaching you about this small little piece called as the pawn. Let's start learning. See, learn and use. Alright, so as you all know, the video name is New to Chase Meet the Pawn. So let us meet the pawn. Okay, now let me tell you the rules of this pawn. First of all, what is this small piece? So this small piece is called as the pawn. And there will be 8 pawns with each player. So as you know, there is two players. The white player and the black player. So the white and black player will each have eight, eight pawns, which are all laid on the second rank for white and seventh rank for black. So first of all, what is rank and files? Files are columns and ranks are rows. Okay, so for white, the pawns are always placed in the rank number two place. For a black, it's just the same, but in the seventh rank. So that's where the pawns are placed. Now let me go to the next one. Next column. Okay. So now let us learn how it moves. So while it moves, it how does it move exactly? It moves like this. Let me show the camera. Okay. So, a pawn, whenever it's on its second rank, if it's the white pawn, and if it's on the seventh rank for the black one, black pawn, that means they have choices. So, if it's in the white pawn, then the white pawn can move one or two steps forward. The same goes with the black ones. So, that one, if you are supposed to choose this, wisely when you are you know like in a situation where you think like someone other pawn or some other piece can capture you okay so i've kept two pawns going to adjust the camera like this okay all right done so now let us see now these pawns can totally move two steps forward or one step forward, right? Now I am going to use two colored erasers for white and two white erasers for black to mark where and all it can move. I will be moving this pawn here. It will be on this side. Okay. So like this. Okay, so these are the places where these pawns can move. So as now you have understood how it moves, it can move one or two steps forward. Let us now see how it captures. Now in this position, it is white's turn. So now tell me, if now a pawn can capture a pawn or another piece, Diagonally. Now, if this pawn is here and it was black stone, then the black would capture the this pawn and put it out of the game. Okay. And if it's white white stone, it would just kill the black pawn. Okay. Now this is kind of confusing because whenever you kill a piece or a pawn with a pawn, that time it can only kill a piece when it is moving diagonally. So I will be showing you about this. Okay. So both of these can come like this. Both of them will fall on the same square. Now if I put the, these two there and like this. So these are the places where it could capture a piece or two pieces. So now I will be taking out another pawn for each of the colors that is black and white. So I am going to 
pick up the box. Where are you? Ha, huh, here. So I picked up two new pawns. So one pawn would be here and one pawn would be here. Okay? So now tell me if this pawn can kill this pawn. If it's yes, then please put it in the comments box below. And if it's no, then put it no in the comments box below. Same thing goes with this. So yes, it can kill. It was white's chance, white would kill this. And it, if it was black's chance, the black would kill this. But in the same way, in the white's chance, it would kill here. So that's how a pawn can capture a pawn or another piece. So I hope you understood. If you didn't understand anything, then type what's your question in the comments box below. Alright guys, so this is all that we learned today. Bye bye guys. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you are notified about any new videos I put. And don't forget to like this video and share it so that others can also get to know how to play chess just like you. Bye guys. Bye bye.